In today's dynamic cybersecurity landscape, staying ahead of evolving threats requires a versatile arsenal of tools. Among these, NGRAP stands out as a powerful and versatile network traffic analyzer. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use NGRAP, exploring its capabilities and practical applications. NGRAP, short for NetGrab, is a network traffic analyzer that operates like a search engine for network packets. It allows us to filter and capture specific network traffic based on predefined criteria. This allows us to identify and investigate potential threats and weaknesses in our networks. Let's look at an example by capturing some HTTP traffic. To do this, we use the following command. This sets the ngrep to capture all packets on all interfaces which uses port 80 and that contain the word example.com. When we run it and perform a web request to example.com, we can see that ngrep shows the captured packets. Let's go over the flags that we have used. The first flag is the queue flag or quiet flag. This flag ensures that only the packet headers and the content of the packets are displayed. The W flag allows us to configure how to display the packets. There are four options that can be set. Normal, Byline, None and Single. Normal mode is the default mode. Byline only performs a return when the line feed or return characters are captured by ngrep. None mode does not return a character under any circumstances. And finally, the single mode is practically the same as the none mode but gives IP addresses and host names new lines. In this case, we use the byline mode because it gives us easily readable HTTP packets. This is because each of the headers end with a new line character. We then set the host we listened for to example.com and the port to port 80. We can use Berkeley packet filtering to create our filters. This input is also accepted by Wireshark and TCP dump. We can find more information on how to use the filters on the following website. We can also use ngrep to create pcap files. To create this file, we can use the O flag followed by an output file name. We do the same command as the previous exercise, but add the flag to save the results. We can see that we can capture the output that ngrep processes. Let's use ngrep to search through the pcap file we just made. To open pcap files, we can use the i flag followed by a pcap file. Instead of searching for a host or a port, we can also search by using a regular expression. Let's search for the text user or the text pass in the file we have just captured. We can do this by creating a regular expression containing user pipe pass. This allows ngrep to find all the packets in the pcap file that contain either the word user or the word pass. System administrators can use ngrep to look for packets that are suspicious or interesting. In the previous examples we have shown that we can do this with regex searches. What is also possible is to look for specific fingerprints that malicious applications might make on the network. We can do this with the X flag followed by a string. This flag allows text to be interpreted as a hexadecimal pattern. If ngrep finds a packet that contains a pattern, ngrep will display the packet and its contents. This allows us to search for malicious content transferred over the network and could be used for makeshift warning of compromise. As you can see, ngrep is a valuable asset in cybersecurity toolkits providing a powerful tool for analyzing and filtering network traffic. Its versatility and flexibility makes it suitable for a wide range of tasks, from intrusion detection to web application security testing. With its comprehensive filtering options and user-friendly syntax, NGREP empowers security professionals and network administrators to identify and address potential threats effectively. If you learned anything, please like this video, subscribe and comment about what you would like to see next. Thank you for watching.